Welcome back everyone to another Trimble Perspective tutorial video. And in this one, we will finish discussing the functionalities of the right side panel. And if you haven't already, I recommend watching part one of this tutorial series so that you aren't missing out on any details. But with that out of the way, let's get right into it. Next, let's discuss creating points. An annotation is a picked location in the station view, while a precision point is measured as a single point by the scanner indicated by the laser pointer. Both can be matched with the control point for georeferencing the project. Once created, an annotation and a precision point can be edited. To add points, from the right side panel, click the points panel. With the points panel popped up, tap create new, and choose one of the following, point or annotation. To add an annotation or precision point, first input a name in the field. Additionally, you have the option to add a description, take a photo, and enable use for georeferencing. Once you have configured your settings, click Create Point. The process to create a precision point is a bit different. Firstly, a connection to the scanner and a scan are required to create a precision point. It is important to note that with the indoor mode, the precision point type is enabled with the scan acquired with an X9 and disabled with the scan acquired with an X7. If needed, you can also turn on the laser pointer to aim the point to measure. Once created, a precision point displays as a pin in the station view. And note that the target height field is only available for leveled scans and when used for georeferencing option has been checked. The measurement tool lets you measure the 3D position of a point, a distance between two points, or an area and perimeter drawn by several points. These points need to be picked on the scan data in any of the available views. The results display in any view and are stacked by measuring order in the measurements panel. In the station view, the station inside which the measurement has been done is displayed below the result, and in the map view, the view from which this measurement has been performed is displayed below the result as well, except for the single point measurement. To delete measurements, select a measurement in either the station view or map view. The selected measurement displays in red in the view and is surrounded by a blue frame in the measurements panel. Click delete to delete the measurement. Next, let's discuss notifications. When an activity is running, a notification pops up to show the progression or when it ends. No color indicates an ongoing process. Blue color indicates a data download step that has been executed with success. Green color indicates that a process has been executed with success. Orange color indicates a warning. And red color indicates that a process has failed. Note that all popped up notifications are automatically saved. When you reload a project, notifications are automatically reloaded by a batch of 10 in the same order as they were initially generated. To load all notifications, tap Show All. To export all the notifications into a CSV format, tap Export. You can manipulate the limit box in 2D by panning and in 3D by orbiting just as you normally would when using perspective. Also, use the handle to resize the limit box or to change its orientation by dragging the extent handle away from or toward the center of the limit box to increase or decrease the size of the limit box in one direction, dragging the rotation handle to rotate the limit box around its vertical axis using the slider to change the elevation of the limit box, and you can click the eye icon to hide or display the limit box. Also, it is important to note that when the magnifier tool is selected, the limit box is hidden and all tools are disabled. Once again, I thank you all for tuning in 
And I hope that this information was super helpful and that it will continue to be helpful as you all continue your scanning journeys. And please stay tuned because more content is always on the way. And until next time, happy scanning.